Cropping by Doris Charest. Here we're going to learn about what to do if your painting isn't quite right and how cutting it back would make it a better painting. Keep in mind that this works better when you're working with paintings on paper. Working on canvas is a whole different ballgame. I could crop there too, but that's a whole new technique. So maybe my painting would be better if I crop this way or that way. That's not bad. I don't mind that one. And maybe the bottom, no, a little wider there. So I play around with what would look better and then I can crop it for that reason. Here the problem is I have too much land or too much sky and the painting is too even. So this is perfect. More sky, less land makes it a better painting. I could crop it so it's mostly sky, not as good. I could crop it so there's more land, but then I have the same problem as I had before. So I think this would be the best for this painting. I can crop there. Now I have this mixed media painting. Some of it is too much, so I can crop that one. The idea is that you want your viewer to look at the painting and keep coming back to the focal point. This painting, it's not happening. There's too much information around the edges. So I could crop this way and would be better. That's a little better because I have repetitive elements. That's the best, I think. That would be the best way to crop this painting. I have elements that repeat. All the elements go towards the focal point. It makes a great painting this way. So that's all for cropping. And we'll see you in the next section.